Marius Elsa's pet hippo, Humphrey, had attacked his nephew, causing massive injury, and had brutally killed six cattle. But still, he ignored the warning signs. It was a part of Humphrey that we had never seen. Clearly, things were escalating. He was getting more dangerous. Johan began to dread the weekend visits, to watch his uncle Marius take the huge risk of hand feeding Humphrey. It was just a day like any other. As we drove into the enclosure, uh, we didn't see Humphrey. Well, Humphrey was in the water. And each time my uncle would go to Humphrey, you, you get this feeling that something bad's going to happen. I was terrified. I, I, I felt I had to look over my shoulder each time I went into the enclosure. I wouldn't get off the bucky. Johan joined the other workers to watch Marius feed Humphrey from a safe distance. Marius definitely was more cautious about letting people near Humphrey. He was basically the only one that he would let interact with the hippo. He was a bit more wary of him and aware of his boundaries. So he would still feed him, still interact with him, but he was definitely not as relaxed as he used to be. As my uncle was going to the water, he started whistling and calling Humphrey. And we stood there and watched him as we usually would. My uncle bit the apple and he wanted to feed Humphrey. As Humphrey came towards him, I could tell something was wrong. On that day, is Humphrey is coming out with his ears flat on his head. And then he go for Marius. Immediately I thought, I thought the worst and I, I got a, a cold chill down the back of my spine. We screaming, Marius, Marius, you must wake up. Humphrey is coming for you. But that is too late. It, it happened within a, in the blink of an eye. Before we could do anything, Humphrey had turned and grabbed my uncle. He was just violently attacking me. It feels like an eternity when, you, when you're standing on the bank and there's nothing you can do. I don't know what is going in my head when I go in the water. But I'm going. And as soon as Uncle Lenny got hold of him, um, he shouted I should come and help him. Uncle Lenny had grabbed the one arm and I'd grabbed the other one and we were pulling him out to shore. When we got him out on the, on the bank, I, I felt a, a real sense of relief but, and, and, and a sense of hope that, that he was going to be okay. Uncle Mario! I thought that I, I, I felt a pulse, but, you know, I think it was more wishful thinking than actual signs of life.